All right, folks, welcome to Wood Bat Madness. Yo! What up, what up? Will here with the Baseball Bat Bros, coming to you live from the beautiful University of Oregon, home of the Ducks, to bring you the first round of Wood Bat Madness. Today, we got the Mike Trout 27 Old Hickory versus the Tatis 23. Let's get it. All right, folks, welcome to Wood Bat Madness Part 1.0, Real Wood, where we're gonna have pure wood bats that you can use in like pro ball, right? The ones that are gonna be most famous. We will also have Wood Bat Madness 2.0. That's where we're gonna have our bomb bats, our bamboo bats, our guayabi and beech wood and demarini wood composites, all that funky stuff. The winners of those two 16 bat tournaments will meet up in the finals for one final bout to see who will win the ship. But for now, we are kicking off regular, real, full wood bat madness. And if you guys haven't seen our full bracket reveal, make sure to go check that out. Here's another quick look at our 16 bats for the tournament. Again, starting out with this first round, and we have a couple beasts here. You guys might be wondering, Bat Bro Will, why are you putting two of the best wood bats in the game up against each other in the first round? Because all 16 of these bats are badass. I guarantee you, we only put really good wood bats in this tournament. So every single round one is gonna be an unfair round one matchup. We are fast forwarding straight to the Sweet 16. These are all legit bats. A couple similar turn models here, actually, really similar shaped barrels. We have the Old Hickory MT27, probably the best player in recent MLB history swings this thing. The version you're actually going to buy online in the consumer facing version is actually, from my understanding, quite a bit slimmed down from the actual bat Mike Trout is swinging. This feels like a freaking straight up drop three. Really easy to swing, pretty slim barrel, honestly. And it's going up against, honestly, one of our favorite bats so far. We actually haven't swung the old hickory yet, but this freaking Victus Tatis 23 just tears down everything in its path. Super hard wood, excellent turn model, really easy to swing, nice thin handle and this man just went off this year so this is a pretty good bat to be swinging excited to try this one out we got an oregon duck with us to vote if you guys don't know how bat madness works check out one of these at the top of your screen right now we're gonna do a two out of three vote we're each gonna swing with each one of these bats and just give you know our subjective opinion on what we think is the best bat here we're gonna take into consideration swing weight swing feel how that sweet spot performs and really just the hardness and the sound and how the ball jumps off these bats so let's check it out all right, folks, we are out here at the University of Oregon, PK Park, one of the most beautiful fields I've ever been on. However, we're in a bit of a pickle. It is 400 feet to dead center, 375 to the gaps, and 335 down the lines. If I hit one out, it will be a God-given miracle. But let's see if the old steel pressed MT27 maple can get her done. So we're back at it, boys. Wood bat madness, can't wait to do this, let's go. Okay, th this is good. I'm telling you guys, there's not a bad bat in this tournament. All right, folks, we got D1 outfielder for the Oregon Ducks, Anthony Hall. He's gonna help us out with a little wood bat madness showdown here. Let's get it. That is a loud, loud sound, boys. It's honestly like, again, this is a slim, light bat. I would say this is even like smaller than an I-13, even closer to like a T-141 almost. This is a really easy to swing, kind of tight barreled bat. We got the Tatis now. A lot of you guys are gonna consider this the one seed. I don't necessarily think that's true. I think these are all gonna be very, very good. I really don't know what way this is gonna go. The Tatis is gonna be more like a slim down I-13. Pretty easy to swing. This will swing a lot like a drop three as well. 33 inch here, the Maple, Fernando Tatis Jr. Let's get it. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Oh, well, that was a, that was the furthest ball yet, though. That's a one hop. I'll say this is a little more end weighted than the Mike Trout. That's honestly kind of a balanced bat. That's a lot lighter than I was expecting. This has a little more butt to it. Another one hop. Do it. All right, fellas. A big bat madness vote right here. We're rocking the old masks because we're on the college campus. You gotta follow the rules, right? So these matchups, every now and then, they're gonna come down to the turn model. Every now and then, they're gonna come down to the quality of the wood itself. This one will have nothing to do with the quality of wood because these are both rock hard, big league cuts of maple. I was legit getting startled in the batter's box by how loud the crack was. So fellas, are you ready to vote? Yep. Yep. We're gonna do uh, a little three, two, one. We'll say Trout or we'll say Victus. Three, two, one, Trout. Victus. Oh! <laughs> that bro will take it his third career L. The Tatis will move on to the great unknown. And the old Hickory, Mike Trout, will move on to the Elite Eight. The fans are gonna be so <laughs> mad. All right, I know what you guys are thinking. You're getting Cat Nine versus Victus Vandal vibes. The presumed one seed going down in the first round but fellas that's why it's called bat madness anything can happen i'm telling you these are all really good bats every single round is going to be goliath versus goliath you guys are tripping if you don't think the old hickory mike trout is going to be a really good bat i picked the tatis just for the turn model you know i take freaking jose canseco hacks i'm trying to hit the ball 900 feet every time this had that more end loaded feel and i could really get under the ball and get a lot of backspin hit the ball really far this just had a lot more end load behind it whereas this was like so light on it this is a true drop three if not even less this was so easy to swing a thin handle in a narrow and long barrel this honestly reminds me a lot of like the nolan arenado 28 turn model really similar to like a t141 i think a lot of contact hitters would really like this it's light swinging and hard man this was stiff and absolutely smoked the ball but you had the swing weight of like a small wood bat or almost a metal bat honestly uh I'm okay with losing to this one. I personally just like more of that I-13 turn model. So Anthony, dude, like I could have guessed your guess. You were mashing with that. You were getting under balls a lot with this. I can tell this is probably quite a bit heavier than like your BB core you swing. Yeah. So this feels a lot more like a drop two or drop two and a half, a clear a uh, bit more amount of end load. So why'd you go with the old hick today? You hit a lot better with it. What do you think it was? I mean, for me personally, I just like the balance bat it's more light. in general. Yeah, yeah it's, a lot, it's a lot more lighter and a lot more control with the barrel. And I just can, hit a lot better with it i feel like and then trace the wood bat wizard as i call you why, why'd you go with the mike trout today man and i know a lot of you viewers are going what the hell trace the, do the fans much i love this bat. the fans are gonna lose their damn mind i know i'm sorry but <laughs> we're about to get flamed i know but it really just comes down to swing weight that's all it is i felt like the hardness of the bat i felt like um the sweet spot was the same I really felt like it was a similar bat besides just the swing weight. Honestly, yeah. that's what it, that's really what it was. And especially swinging this first and then going to that, I could really tell the difference. I was surprised. I was like, oh, wow, the yeah. Tatis is heavy. Whereas I hadn't really thought that in the past because we all put it, we always put it against like 243s, mm -hmm. right? But dude, that's like the freaking voodoo one of wood bats right now. I need one of these. Yeah, that's legit. Yes. All right, fellas. And since this is a pretty controversial one, we wanted to put the old Tatis and the MT27 old Hickory on the exit velo tester. I voted for the Tatis, but I think that was a fair win uh, for the old Hickory. If this can get at all similar exit velos to the Tatis, I'm cool with it because this was noticeably lighter swinging, kind of like a Cat 9 versus Victus Vandal situation. Basically, what I'm trying to find out today is if the Victus Vandal gets anywhere close in exit velo to the Cat 9. Because if it does, I'm going to feel very good about our decision with the Vandal's clean sweep over the Cat 9 because we already know sweet spot is just about there. 
Um, and the swing weight is just so much lighter on the Victus. So more back control, easier to swing, almost felt just as hot though. I just liked how I was just absolutely launching balls with the Tatis. This felt like, you know, I was getting more base hits, but I was hitting balls really far with that. But we're gonna have Trace take some swings here. Let's see what the exit wheels look like, man. Ninety-one point nine. It's, I mean, it's so that, close. Oh, yeah. It's like neck and neck. I think that's really the difference. Is just literally the weight. It's the only yep. thing. Because the numbers are all the same. That's a pretty advanced choice by you and Anthony, man. When you have two bats where the ball's coming off the same, the same exit below, and one's wider than the other, and you're able to get more back control with the other, it's gonna take the dub, man. That's why the Victus Vandal won. That's why the Voodoo one beat everything. When you have a light, stiff bat that still has a pretty good forgiving sweet spot, that's dense, gonna, and dense hard wood, that's gonna win a lot of matchups, man. A lot. That's the Voodoo one. And some round one drama, folks. The Tatis 23, one of our favorite bats of the year. But again, guys, wood bats are wood bats. Big league wood is big league wood. These are all excellent bats. And sure enough, the Mike Trout 27 really impressed us. A slim, easy to swing, hard as hell piece of wood here is moving on to the Elite Eight. It'll face the winner of the Victus Tim Anderson 7 Birch against the Birdman Birch, both with kind of a bell knob here. Yeah, guys, the Tatis just kind of had a lot of flex, pretty end loaded. This was so stiff and hit the ball very, very hard, really easy to swing. I honestly just like the little bit extra end load, but I mean, dude, this is a worthy bat to be beating the Tatis. There's gonna be a lot of excellent, excellent bats that lose the first round. So until next time, guys, the old hickory moving on. The Tatis, if you get this bat, you'll honestly love it. That's just another excellent, excellent bat. All right, fellas, thanks for hanging out today. Big thank you to the University of Oregon for letting us hit out at PK Park, one of the most beautiful fields in the country. But that was a fun one, guys. We'll see you next time. If you liked the video, we'd appreciate it if you drop a like. And if you guys wanna help support the Bat Bros, there's some ways down in the description below. And you can always check out our merch over at baseballbatbros.com. Peace out, y'all. We'll see you next time.